So I'm so excited. I got my first Dutch oven. I've never actually had one before, and this one is amazing because it comes in blue. Here it is. The whole thing. Ooh, look how pretty that is. That color is gorgeous. Love it. Who's ready to cook? Since we live in Oklahoma, I decided that I'm gonna make my first dish ever in here. I'm gonna make Pioneer Woman's, cause she's from Oklahoma, her braised ribs. So I've got everything sort of prepared, I think, and um, we're gonna get started. So as soon as this heats up, I'm gonna cook my little pancetta in there over medium heat, let it crisp up, and then we'll see where we go. So let's see how hot we are. I think we can go ahead and put it in and then let it cook. So I think one of the things that I love about this already is that I can use metal um, silverware on this and it won't hurt it at all. That's what they say. So I'm gonna use my metal spoon and kind of turn things around. And then the other thing that I've always wanted because I wanted a Dutch oven was I wanted a pot that would go from the stove straight to the oven. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna do all of this and then I'm gonna stick in the oven for two hours and then I'm gonna have delicious ribs when I get all done. So we're gonna let this cook and let it get all crispy. Okay, so now we're gonna take all of this little crispy pieces out. You can see the great thing about all of this is it's non-stick, so it's all coming out really easily. It didn't stick at all, and I didn't put anything in the pan before I put this in there. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. So now I have bought bone-in short ribs, and I have salt and peppered them and dredged them with flour, and now we are searing them. And this is cooking really evenly. I've already done a few over there. Um, it's sizzling it nice and well. It did not take too long to heat up either, which is really great when you're trying to cook for a family. I'm gonna let these sizzle on each side for a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna add the best part about all of these is that it is one pot. So I didn't even clean this out. I'm just dumping from what I already had. Cook this for a couple minutes, these onions and carrots. Now we're adding just a little red wine. We're gonna let all of that come to a boil for a couple minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add a little beef broth. I really love that I can use my giant metal spoon in this pot and I don't worry about it getting messed up or messing up any of the non-stick qualities. Um, okay, that's all stirred. We're ready to add all of our ribs in here. So, as you can see, it fits a whole eight of these, which is, that's a lot, and some of these are really big. I'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary for some final flavoring. And now, the best part is, everything that's already in the pot just goes straight into the oven to cook for another couple hours. Slides right in. So, I'm super excited about eating these ribs. They look delicious, and I can tell that they all got cooked evenly while they were in the oven. They all look like they're falling off the bone, which is exactly what they're supposed to do. So I did all of that, but I didn't really do all that because the oven did that. So super grateful for this and can't wait to make more dishes. <laughs>